so now we have created this reusable file and when we need to execute this reusable file so obviously right so before executing each and every scenario so whatever the scenario we are going to execute the common step is like browser invocation which means like we need to run the browser invocation first so that the corresponding web driver will be initialized and then like we can do the uh, respective steps we can we navigate to the respective url and whatever the user action we need we can do it up so the common thing the first thing is like the browser invocation so which means like we need to do the browser invocation as a first thing so we need to execute this browser invocation first so how we are going to execute this browser invocation first in the sense in a kukumar framework so we are having something called as an hooks so what is the need of the hooks in the sense with the help of the hooks we can set the precondition and the post condition so like we can set the pre condition and the post condition and how we are going to set this pre condition and post condition in the sense with the help of the annotations so the kukumar framework provide two more annotation so one we call it as an add before and another we call it as an add after annotation so whenever like you are creating any annotation so basically immediately below which like we need to create the method so i can say so public void so as it is of an uh, i can give any method name so let me tell the method name as an setup and i'm going to create an another method called as an public void like end because it is going to act as the post condition and when this at before annotation and at after annotation execute in the sense this before annotation will run before executing okay so before executing any scenario so like in a feature file like we are having multiple scenarios so let's say like we are having this uh, like a uh, scenarios like error message validation or multiple test validation or the va uh, validation of the login credentials so before executing the scenario so the browser invocation will execute which means the before annotation will execute so before start of each and every scenario okay the before annotation will execute so i'm just using the command line for the easy understanding so the before annotation will execute before executing each and every scenario so whatever the scenario we are going to use so before executing each and every scenario so the before annotation will execute and similar way like we are having another annotation called as an after annotation at after annotation this will execute after executing all the test steps in the respective scenario so like in the scenario we are having multiple test step after executing all the test step the after annotation will execute so which means like after executing this first scenario the after will execute after executing the scenario outline which is nothing but after executing this two test case after will execute so before start of any scenario the before annotation will execute and after executing all the test steps the after annotation will execute okay so we are having two annotation so one we call it as an at before and another we call it as an at after so the need of the before annotation in the sense so like it will execute before executing any scenarios and after annotation will execute after executing all the test steps so we are going to create the annotation which is nothing but we are going to create the 
file called as an hooks so which is nothing but we are going to create the hooks class so inside the step definition i am just creating the hooks class okay and where i am going to map the annotation called as an at before and whenever you are using the annotation so immediately like we need to create the method okay and i am going to create one more annotation called as an at after annotation and under which i am creating a immediate method so let it be of an tear down okay so we have created two method one is called as a setup method and the tear down method which means the setup method will execute before executing any of the test scenarios so which means moving forward so we don't need to provide the browser invocation as a like a pre request because browser invocation is going to be common for all the step so like rather than providing the like a browser invocation as a given uh pre request so moving forward like we will be optimizing the scenario so in the further class i will tell how we can optimize the scenario so now let me comment this given statement because like we are not going to invoke the browser we are going to invoke the browser with the help of the hooks class so what is the scenario we are going to run we are going to run the scenario number 1 so i'm just navigating to my runner file so under which i'm updating the tag okay the tag is already updated so now we have created the hooks file inside this hooks file we need to call this method called as an browser code because we need to run this method called as an launch browser okay this launch browser method is present inside the class called as an base code so which means like we need to call the base code class inside the hooks so just i told like if we need to use one class in an other class we should create an object because here hooks is in different class and the, the base code is a different class so we are going to use like one class in another class so if that is the case like we should create an object so i can say how i am going to create an object so the class name i am just giving a variable name as b is equal to new of base code okay so i have created the object so now class contains method so the variable name is called as an b if i say b dot i can able to see the method called as an launch browser so when i call this method it will throw some error so just hover over the mouse it is asking us to add the exception so just add the respective exception over it so now what we have done with the help of the hooks class so we inside the hooks class we have map to annotation one is called as an at before and at after and uh, there is no rule like we need to create the class called as an hooks because uh, there are we, um, even without creating the hooks we can execute because the cucumber framework purely execute based upon the annotation so either you can provide this at before annotation inside your uh, wherever you have placed the given when then right so we can place it up because like as per the annotation hierarchy so whenever we run that scenario it will scan do we have at before annotation if we have at before annotation it will execute the at before annotation first followed by the test steps but the reason why i'm creating it as an uh, like a separate class well in the sense so that everyone will have air so what are the pre condition and the post condition so we have enabled for the scenarios so because uh, for an easy understanding because if we have everything in a, a single class file it will be difficult for us to understand so what is a uh, placed or uh, what is going to act as a pre request so in order to like avoid the confusions so i have created the separate file called as an hooks and even there is uh, uh, no such rule the class name should uh, have the keyword called as an hooks so you can use your own keyword uh, like uh, you can set like the pre condition or post condition so whatever the uh, class name you want to use so you can provide it up and under which we are mapping the annotation so now let me okay just 
run the scenario so if i just right click on this run the scenario so for sure my hooks class should execute first which is nothing but at before annotation will execute first so let's say okay so it is throwing the error so what is the error duplicate step definition i think i have in remove the duplicate step definition so let me just remove the duplicate definition okay so now i have removed the duplicate definition and let me just try running the same so now it has picked the scenario called as an login message validation and if you see it is invoking the edge browser so how the invocation occurs so like we have provide ignore about this failures and all we can rectify error so how the invocation occurs in the sense because like inside the configuration dot property we have given the browser name as edge so but how this logically works so i told like whenever you have any confusions so please add the break points which is nothing but add a debug points so from the uh, debug points with the help of the debug points so the execution will comes under our control so now let's say i am just adding the debug points in line number 24 26 28 29 and 33 35 and then like 39 so let's say now let me try to pass an invalid data so called as an okay learn more so now i'm going to run the runner and how i'm going to run the runner in the sense with the debugger mode so how we can run in the debugger mode so right click and instead of run runner you can just click on debug runner so what happen initially it will execute the at before annotation first so because we have set the pre request so inside the at before annotation we we need to execute the browser called as a launch browser so it will execute this launch browser first and while executing the launch browser so as we have added the debug points so the execution has been passed so which means like whenever we say driver dot uh, a uh, get property so inside this uh, property so the appropriate key will be passed so which is nothing but like uh, as we have passed the browser key the value will be like kind of an learn more so it will check whether learn more equal to h so obviously it is not equal then git will skip the execution let me just uh, stop and let me rerun it so something has happened and let me run this debug runner in the debugger mode once again okay so now it will check so uh, like it will return the value called as an learn more it will check whether learn more equal to h for sure it is not true so whenever the condition is not satisfy it will skip the particular block it will jump to the next part it will check whether the learn more is equal to chrome again the condition is not satisfy it will skip the block it it will check whether it is equal to safari it will skip the block when all the above condition is false then obviously it will execute the default block called as an else then it will throw the exception which we have mentioned so we have mentioned invalid argument exception so it says please enter the valid browser name so as it is throwing the exception i'm just trying to provide the browser name and if you assume so the user can inject the browser name in uh, any of any of the way like either they can use the lower case or they can use the like camel case or the pascal case okay so likewise um, the user can provide in any of the way so whatever the uh, uh, input the user is uh, injecting either it is of a lower case or upper case our execution should uh, work as expected so which means so we are having the method called as an equal okay 
So what this equals method does in the sense, the equals method always check the exact match. So it will check the exact match. But here we are going to ignore the case sensitivity. So if we are not going to consider the case sensitivity, so either it can be a lower case or upper case, there is an another method called as an equals ignore case. So if we use this method, then what happened? It won't consider the case sensitivity. So now what I'm going to do instead of the equals method, I'm going to replace with the equals ignore case. Okay, I'm going to replace with this particular method. So now here I'm just giving it as a Chrome. So now let me just run in a debugger mode. So now what is the value we are having? We are having it as a Chrome. So here it will check whether the Chrome is equal to H. Obviously, both are not equal, which is the Boolean is false. Whenever the Boolean is false, it will skip the particular block. So it will skip the edge driver part. So now if you see the driver is null. So till now, the driver doesn't has any knowledge. The driver will be null. So now it will check. It will. It is going to read and it is going to check. So what is the key value it contain? So which means now it have a, if you hover your mouse you can able to see so it has the value called as an chrome so it is going to check whether the chrome is equal to chrome yes obviously chrome is equal to chrome so as we have used the equals ignore case so in the configuration file so if you see like uh, the chrome start with chrome but in the comparison we have given everything as a lower case but as we are ignoring the case sensitivity, now the condition will be like kind of true. So if it is of and true, it will step into the particular else if block. Now our web driver will gain the knowledge of Chrome driver wherever we are going to use the driver. So now this driver will have the knowledge of the Chrome driver. So initially it is null, but now uh, post executing this step, so it will gain the knowledge of the Chrome driver. If I just resume the program, okay. So it will initialize the knowledge of the Chrome driver. And the first step is like, so it will open the like uh, Chrome Chrome driver. And second step, so as we have launching the URL with the help of the get method, it was navigate to the URL called as an login.salesforce. And even this URL we have provided in the config file.